Hey everyone, welcome to Rockin' Groove. I've made a huge mistake. Welcome back everybody. Uh, first time here, thank you so much for coming. Please like and subscribe if you're back. Thank you for coming back. Um, man, I think I've made a big mistake. I've, um, I, just, I had a feeling and I knew better and I've been messing with this and I think I've made a big mistake. So, I have this guitar here. I did, a, I did an unboxing video about a week ago with it and it was a disaster. A lot of things in the way of unboxing it so it just ruined so it's not a real unboxing now. Um, but ever since then, man, I've been trying to play this thing. I've been trying to tune it. I've been trying to do all this stuff to it, and everything I do with it is a complete disaster. Um, and so I'm almost at a point where I think I'm gonna send it back. So let's talk about it here. What we have is an Epiphone, brand new Epiphone Les Paul SL. So what does it look like? Let's get to it. Box in a box. And yeah, boom. What are we gonna find in this thing? Alright. There we go. Your typical. I put it back all in the wrap in here just so you can see what it came look like. Had your plastic, you know, stuff. This little cheesecloth looking thing has this on the headstock with it with the Allen wrench taped on there. Didn't know what that was. Or I didn't know it was there until I barely saw it. Here. Alright, let's see if I can hit the camera. Alright, there we go. There it is. Oh man, there's a lot of glare on this camera today. There it is, yellow. You see a little glare? There it is, yellow. I had the option of the blues, a couple blues. I said, now nah, we'll go yellow. And one of the blues I think was out of stock anyway. Anyway, here it is. It doesn't even have the new inspired by Gibson headstock. It's got the old headstock there. Here it is. So what I'm gonna do is uh, talk about my first impressions, which has already happened. Uh, go over the specs of this thing. And then yeah, I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna try to work with it. We're gonna try to do a demo of it. I'm gonna try to tune it and I'll give you my final thoughts. So um, you can tell from the way I'm talking right now, I'm not very helpful. Uh, I'm very kind of just meh. So let's get to it and see if you really want one of these either. Uh, where do I even start on this thing? So, my first impressions of this guitar was, first of all, you know, the yellow finish is fine. I saw no finish defects on the yellow at all. Everything looks good. Everything looks nice and, you know, the, you know, plate back here, which I don't care. It's, it looks fine. Everything looks good. It is a, it is not carved top. It is flat, so this thing is way thinner than a regular, um, Les Paul. It's way thinner than, say, like a double cutaway special or anything like that. This, this is thinner than a, shoot man, this thing's way thin. If I wasn't afraid of banging them together, I'd show you. This thing is way thinner than uh, my Telecaster. So you're probably looking like an inch and a half maybe. It's really thin. Um, so looking at this here, uh, the pickups look cheap. They look dirty. Really cheap looking plastic there. Um, the board is definitely not conditioned yet, and of course, just like your typical Epiphone, I got the dirty fingers when I was first playing it and everything. Still probably going to get dirty today, but, you know, whatever. One thing that bothered me bad about this guitar is, I don't know if you can see that, it may not look as bad on this end right now, but man, those strings are far off the neck. And I can even put, when I go to bend it, my finger wants to go under the string above it. And therefore a lot of that's off here it's got one of these basic old cheap metal um bridges wrap around bridges there um let me see going down here now here's the real big problem here these tuners man these are about the worst tuners i think i've ever played in my life they are terrible i can't get this thing in tune i just can't get it in tune. I don't know. I've tried the tuner. I've tried doing it by ear. I've tried it with music. I've tried. So, but here's the deal. This, so you're probably saying, well, yeah, Jason, you spent, you spent like 150 bucks on that. And I did. Um, when these first came out, they were $99. Um, okay. And they jumped it up to 130. Don't know what made them think they could do that. 
Um, but they jumped up to 130 and after tax and all that stuff, it was like 150, uh, 151, something like that. So I paid 150 bucks for this. Yeah, so can I really expect that much? Yeah, I think you can. With a lot of stuff out there now, like Harley Benton and Earth and um, heck, Donner's putting out guitars, uh, Firefly, I think there's a lot of guitars out there now. So like, yeah, if you're gonna be dropping down in that price range, there's some stuff that works a lot better than this, um, that feel a lot better than this. So a lot of people are gonna just, you know, opt for a Harley Benton or a Firefly before going here. Yeah, what's selling this, what's really selling this guitar? That name, Epiphone. Everybody's like, oh, it's an Epiphone, it's a real Les Paul. Now, this, um, I played a lot of Les Pauls, mainly Epiphones, and man, this thing is just, uh, it's just, yeah, it looks fine, but as far as the setup, it's terrible. Um, something I've noticed is the frets. The frets, and you probably can't see this, but there's no glisten on those frets at all. These are dirty, old looking frets. I know they're not old, it's new, but man, these frets are dirty. And you get really close up in here, you can see the glue job or whatever right in there. Maybe you can't see it that close, but the glue job or just the, everything between the, the fret and the fret board is just nasty. It looks really dirty and there's just white gunk, all that stuff like that, okay? And again, yeah, you're like, hey, you spent 150 bucks on this guitar, it's a beginner's guitar. What do you expect? No, I, I don't subscribe to that. This is a good beginner's guitar crap. Um, I think you can take a good guitar, whether it be a beginner's guitar or a professional guitar, and you can make it functional and you can make it work. Um, so I hate when I see uh, people on videos or on, you know, Sweetwater, all these websites, anywhere it talks about entry level guitars or, or whatever, you know. So therefore, there's like a thousand dollar price difference and that, that worth it. Not going to get off on a tangent on that. But I don't subscribe to that. I think it could be a cheap guitar and it could still be a good functioning guitar. Um, but there is absolutely nothing at all about this. Man, there's such a bow in that neck. I don't know if you can see that, man. So anyway, so first impressions is this, man, this thing needs a lot of work. I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff to this. I mean, uh, change, the, change the tuners, you name it. And so that's the problem. If this is good for a beginner's guitar, or is it good for a beginner's or guitar or not? I'm not sure yet. And I'll tell you why here in a few minutes, okay? So, um, yeah, that's that's the main thing there. It looks good, neck looks terrible, tuners are terrible, um, pots and everything feel fine. I haven't busted it open and looked into it. I'm not gonna do that until I feel like I wanna keep it. And right now I feel like I'm sending it back, so I'm not gonna do anything like that to it. So anyway, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some close-ups on it, and then let's do a sound demo. I'm gonna run this directly into Logic. I'm gonna run through my pedal board, and then we're gonna go straight into Logic, um, see what this thing sounds like, see if we can get it tuned. We'll see what we can do. So, let's see. All right, everybody, I got a crazy idea. I said, hey, let's go outside. It's such a nice day, it feels pretty good. The sun's not crazy blaring down. A little bit of an overcast at the moment, so I thought, you know what, we'll give a little change of things. Let's go outside for a second. So here we are, let's get some close-ups on this puppy here. You know, honestly, I'll get some good stuff here. The finish looks really nice. The pit guard looks nice, it's got that plastic on there. It looks really good. You know, and then when I turn it over, it looks good. You see the clouds behind me. There you go, see? Epiphone, come back here. And there's the junk tune, there are the junk tuners. You can tell those are the cheap ones. That's, you know, all that stuff. But the neck looks good, and that's another thing, y'all. The uh, the fret job on the edges, it feels really nice. That's not bad at all. That feels good, up and down. I'm So I'm impressed with that. Not bad at all. So, um, let me see if I can show you some close-ups on this neck here. Um, uh -huh, here we go. You just hear me breathing. There's some of that right there. You see that? More of that. And this is what makes me mad. It's this isn't the hard stuff that makes a good guitar. This is the very end QC. You know what? Go ahead and throw it up in the box. Yeah, whatever. It's not. It's cheap. Throw it in the box. Let's go. That's what makes me mad. The hard stuff of shaping this thing and running the machines and getting it set, that's done already. The paint's done. It's just whoever's at the end of the line setting this thing up is just, you know, man, garbage. And then the tuners are bad, but we're gonna mess with that in a few minutes. Here's your bridge. I haven't messed with this yet, but man, that's some cheap 
That's some cheap metal. I can tell by looking at it. If I even try to put a flat head in those, try to turn that, that's going to be a mess. And look at this. Look at those. Look at that right there. What is that? Man, those just sticking out completely. Looks like I'm going to gash my finger or something on it or break them off. I don't know. Weird. These look cheap. They look dirty and old. There's your switch. It's fine. Everything looks fine. Jack right there. Other than that, y'all, I mean, that's it. I mean, that's what it looks like. There are your close-ups. So, you know, let's put it to the test. Let's get in there and uh, see what this thing can do. Hey, what's up, everybody? Here we go. We're about to start. Um, you can see me with all the junk in the background. Um, show you if I can move this and mess up my view altogether. Run it through Logic. Here's my pedal board that I'm using right now. Tuner, a Klein KTR, a Zorb Blue Overdrive, Flamma Reverb, and that's it. Going directly into, here we go. Going directly into a, um, see if I can fix this too. There we go, that's what you want to see. Going directly into AC30 mod, or you know the amp mod in um, Logic. So uh, here we go, y'all.
Okay, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I just stopped pushing record. Um, I got so frustrated, I couldn't tune it. I, I, it was jumping all over the place. They were slipping like mad. I couldn't keep it tuned. And when I did think I tuned it with my tuner, I'd go in and it would just sound like garbage. And I just, I just, it was just driving me nuts. It sounded really, really bad. Um, as far as the um, the pickups go, they're just cheap, really, really cheap pickups. If you were a beginner and that was the type of pickup you were getting, it just, it, it really depends on what you mean by beginner, you know? If you're a kid, a young kid starting off, just getting a taste of guitar, sure. But if you're a serious player like I was when I started when I was, you know, 15, if I got this guitar when I was 15, I, I, I don't know if I would have quit or what because I, it's, you got to think of it this way. Is this a beginner guitar? And I say like in the terms of, is it good for someone starting off that wants to learn to get into playing guitar? No, it's not. And the reason is, is because what's going to do, it's going to make the, make the, um, the player mad, frustrated, self-doubt really gonna bring them down bring down their confidence and everything when they can't if they can't learn to tune and then when you're trying to teach someone to tune you're teaching them to tune on these garbage tuners and then when they're playing and the pickups and everything just sounds so bad um, man it to me it would just make me feel like oh this this I suck this sucks and I've had when I used to teach guitar I've had a lot of students who would come in uh, with their guitars just such bad shape to where no matter what they tried they couldn't do it on the guitar uh, with, an, with the you know with so much you know distance between the frets and the strings um, man it was nuts you could tell from my playing I could tell uh, man it was just it was hard to play it was just not fun to play it was not enjoyable to play it was a chore if I had to play somewhere and somebody said hey I need you to play for me on the spot and use this guitar I would not want to do it at all there's, there, I don't even think you could make this work. It would take so much work to get this thing fixed up. Yeah, like I said, this is cheap metal, like down here. You know, if you bend, any of this stuff's gonna have to be replaced. You'd end up having to put more money into this to get it set up. And that's the thing. Say you pay 129 bucks on this, and say you get lucky and you go and you, um, or just say you pay the tax, or you get lucky and you don't pay the tax, whatever. Um, and you get it for between 130, 150 bucks. Um, you take this to a shop, Especially if you don't know what you're doing, you're new, and you take this to a shop to get it set up, they're probably gonna charge you that much in setting it up. So your price on this guitar has now doubled. And for that much, you can go get you a Squire, and heck, as a matter of fact, just about 50 bucks more, you can get a Squire. It's gonna work a lot better than this. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't recommend this guitar. It's going back. I'm sending it back, I'm packing it up, and I'm getting it out of here. There's more, it's just not worth it to me. So I do not recommend it. This guitar is garbage. Don't buy it. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. And I'm not even going to take it apart and do anything with it. This is not good. And let's just break it right now. Thanks a lot for watching, y'all. Please like and subscribe. I promise you, if you're new here, not all videos are this, you know, drab. I promise you. They're a lot more exciting, a lot more fun, sound a lot better, too. So check them out. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have fun.